This is Pyroman 205. This is my Phoenix MR12 firing system that I got from USF Fireworks, I do believe. I mean, there's two different ones out there. Also in there, there is a firing system from Pyro Direct. One of their first 16Q firing systems. The MR12 is a remote firing system. Small module boxes. Let's take a look inside. That there is the 16Q that I bought from PyroDirect back in 05. You see it on their website as a firing system, but they don't sell it anymore. It has worked great for me. It's got an internal rechargeable 24 volt battery. You've got uh, delays on it 10 seconds, 1 second. One point second and steady, all fire. It's got your test mode. It has an external plug there to hook up for your 22, 24, 12 to 24 volts. This is your internal battery switch. That's ready to fire. Switch the flip the switch that gives you your tests so you can check continuity on that and everything that there the LED will tell you you can program it for 20 seconds 22 seconds however you want to do it's all programmable it's got an antenna the range on this is 300 meters, which is kind of nice. And then you flip the switch, that's for your external internal battery. That's the MR16. This is the remote for it right here. Switch on the side, turns it on, and it is ready. It's got uh, your step, continuous, and all fire. Nice little product. I paid no back then. I think it was like uh, $126. Mind you, that was back 05, 06. This here, these little modules here, is the Phoenix MR12. I don't have all the modules in here. They take uh, four AA batteries. Okay, I replace them every year. It's really cheap. Double A batteries. The range on these here is, I do believe, 200 meters on that. If I'm not mistaken. That gives you plenty of distance and all. They have uh, newer ones that come out. Uh, Quantum Fireworks has almost identical, except they've upgraded theirs. Now, the MR12 also has a newer system that is extended range, which extends it to, I think, 600 meters. And they have an antenna on that. This is the remote for it. Once again, there is no on-off switch. You just end up pushing the button, and you get your light. It's got the antenna. These systems are really good. The modular systems I, I prefer because in this way you can uh, spread things out. You can hook up, uh, I believe it is five of the consumer clip-on igniters. And I believe it is three of the Talons and the Talon 2 igniters on these. As you can see, it's got the on off switch right here which you'll have the green and red and when you put your igniter on there the red will go out when you fire the red light will come on you always want to make sure you have that green light that makes sure you have continuity 
very lightweight, very portable. This is what I've been using for, well, since 06. Um, well, the 16 channel one I've used since 06. I got the MR12 back in 09 and it's, it's worked flawless, you know. Um, <coughs> a little bit of experimenting with it. At one point in time I had too many like a sumer igniters on there or they weren't making contact. I like the Talon igniters better because of the fact they have a thicker wire. The consumer ones have a very thin wire and sometimes they break easily. So what I find what I end up doing is is go ahead and strip it then I wrap it around the casing and I put it in there and it makes it makes uh, very good contact and everything so I paid I think uh, I think it was 169 I think it was for the MR12 and I plan on getting another another remote firing system um, just trying to figure out where I want to go with and what's the best price because they're coming out with newer ones now you could add more modules to the MR12 you can start off they have, start off with I believe it's an 8 shot then you go 10 uh, 12 you could go 24 you could keep adding the modules and you could program these modules to each one of these remotes and they've got a little hole here that you push and it re resets it and then you just push the button for this remote and that will coordinate it with the channel you want. You could put uh, four modules onto one button. Um, so you could have four modules on button 1 through 12 and everything. So it, it's very versatile. Mo uh, extra modules only cost $12. Twelve ninety nine, I believe it is. You can even get the extended modules, and the extended modules will work with the older uh, Phoenix MR twelves. They also have the extended range uh, remote too, and that's like seven dollars or so. So it's very easy. If one of these modules go out, twelve dollars, and everything. You could expand it as you know up to forty, fifty modules if you want to. Um, very versatile, very lightweight, uh, compact. Now you see that it's got uh, green green paint on it. That's glow-in-the-dark paint. It kind of makes it a little bit easier for me to see at times. Uh, you're looking at uh, glowing for probably about uh, two, three hours after dark. So it makes it easy to, to find them and everything. Both systems work flawless for me. Some people have had problems with the 16Q one because of a, a dead battery. I haven't had that problem. After every shoot, I go ahead and charge that up. You can buy replacement batteries. You could find them at uh, Radio Shack, Batteries Plus. Uh, you can find them online. So, that is what my system, firing system, is that I have. Welcome comments. Uh, questions I like I said I plan on getting another remote firing system I may go with uh, the newer version of MR12 and just program it all to one remote it's always good to have a backup remote uh, it's always good to have backup modules like I said modules are $12.99 I believe it's $7.99 for an extra handheld remote it's a new remote I know it has a slide switch that you can turn it off and on, which is a nice feature. This way you don't accidentally bump it. I always make sure that I have the white one uh, in my shirt pocket so nobody get to it. No, it does not have safety keys, but with the remote modules, as long as the operator has the remote and everything, you should be safe. Now I can put a on-off switch on there. It's very easy uh, for the battery. 
The thing is with this battery, it takes one of those little small things. That's an alkali. Putting the, uh, uh, if you have the experience and knowledge, it's easy to put uh, a small micro switch on remotes that don't have an on off. That's something I'm considering for on down the line. So there's my two, my 12, 12 remotes firing system and my 16Q remote firing system.